Active Campaign Survey is what we're going to create, and we're only going to use what's built into Active Campaign, nothing outside or external. You can get it all fancied up by using other services, but let's start simple and decide if you want to go forward with that. So, in this video, we're going to sign up without adding any friction. In other words, we're going to ask the bare minimum of information just to get them on our list. Then we'll follow up with additional requests. There'll be some custom fields we build, and we're going to start some automations based on the replies provided. So, inside your Active Campaign account, um, you've got to create two forms. You're going to create custom field or fields, and you're going to probably want to create some tags that are associated with those custom fields, and then you can do whatever you want based on that. So to start with, we're going to create two forms. I'm going to start with the second one. It's kind of important that you go in that order because that, that form will be what gets fed from the first form you create. So let's start with another second form, form two. Put them on a list. And I do not want to ask for much information, that's, especially if it's already been asked for. So on this page, I don't want to do, I want to actually get their first last name. So let's make it a little more just to be sure. First name, last name, and then here's the important part. Let's create a custom field. And in this case, I'm going to do a radio boxes. Radio box, checkbox, multiples, or actually drop down menu are probably the best ones to use for um, a survey. If you have text, text input, text area, that's a little more open ended. You can't necessarily do anything with that in automation as easily, um, but you can still collect it. So I'm going to do a radio button. I'm going to say, Are you a woman or man? And I'm going to give them two options, woman, man, and then let's get rid of the third. Click on add, and then I need to actually put that in there. So that would be under my fields. I'm going to put it at the top. And again, um, when somebody arrives on this form, they will have already provided their email. So this is a bonus, a little more information. I could add a number of different questions at this point. For this example, I'm just going to do one. Are you a man or a woman? Plus, I want to get their first name, last name, which I didn't before. Okay, so options. Okay, we're going to just use this show thank you. Um, and that's it. Well, I do need to get this link. I'm going to copy this link over because I need that for the first form. So let's go and finish this off. Create a new form. This will be form one, and all I'm going to do after I put them on the same list is I'm going to get rid of this, and all I want to do is collect email. Now, here's the thing I need to do under options. I need to open URL, and I want to make their life easier, better, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a question mark email equals percent email and this is where we pass information from this form to the second form so i'm going to copy that put that in there click on integrate get the link so there it is right there and in just a minute we'll go there but there's a few more things i want to do so there it is now let's go back and we are going to create an automation based on information from there, from the form that gets filled out. One thing I want to do though is I want to actually add some tags. One's called man, one's called woman. And it looks like I've already got one man and I've already got one called woman. Perfect. Okay, automations. Let's create a new automation starting from scratch. We'll continue. And we want to trigger when a field changes. And we want that to be, are you a man or woman? Does it ever change? Yes. Probably just want to leave this as first time. My assumption is nobody's going to change this once they fill it out once. We want to do add it or update it. Click on start. So that's how we're going to get somebody into this automation. I'm just going to put in my standard five minute wait to make everything perfect.
And then let's do this. Let's check. Are you a man or woman? So we'll go to custom fields. Are you a man or woman? If you're a woman, we want to go down this path over here. If you're a man, we want to do this. So at this point, I would actually add a tag. Let's do the woman tag over here. And we're going to do the man tag over here. And you know, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm actually going to remove this weight. And then what we could do is send an email appropriate for each of these people. But for now, I'm just going to end this automation. There. I want to make this active. And let's name it appropriately. Go ahead and save that. So to review, when somebody's custom field man or woman changes, they get put into this automation. We check, are they a man or a woman? If it's a woman, they get the woman tag. If they're a man, they get the man tag. I could send out emails. I could put them on different automations. Let's check how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and add myself. Notice that when I submit this, this is already pre-populated. That was the point of putting this at the end of the thank you URL. Now I can say, OK, yep, I'm a man. Here's my first name. So that very first form was easy, no friction, super simple. Click on Submit, and I'm signed up. So let's go find me. So right there. So what happened? So I said I was a man. I've been tagged as a man. I went to the automation called woman or man and I'm put onto the family list and there it is. I signed up. I was put into the automation and it finished. So that's a very easy way of creating an automation or I should say a survey using ActiveCampaign with the default tools available.